What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome back to another first impression on a crazy title right here. Now this one, Floral Paradise, I jumped onto the front page of the Google Play Store and it was right there in front of me, man. I was like a tower defense game, right? Okay, that's a little risky, right? Like we can't deny it. It's a little risky to drop this today considering poker tower defense dropped today and I am doing both today well tomorrow technically because this is yesterday is the time you're seeing it enough of the minutia man but i had to drop this one as well on top of it for one specific reason they're entirely different styles of tower defense and tower defense is one of my favorite genres in general the longest running series we had was guardian chronicles as far as just a straight up pvp uh, series and i had a blast with it they are they they hold a special place in my heart and seeing how that one does things, the comp to us holding, probably made by Gameville, uh, you know, PvP tower defense, versus how this one does things, which is more of a classic, like, like, more of the Arcanite style, more of the, uh, you know, more of that classic, like, we're actually a hero tower defense, more so than just I'm taking on someone right now, although there is a daily challenge competitive ranked mode, but you don't just fight someone else, it is definitely a skill-based game with a ton of content in it a ton of different game modes and a ton of ways things play out on top of a ton of heroes and as far as heroes go they are fairies my guy so we gotta go over what they look like real quick cutesy art style but genuinely one of the most beautiful games i've ever seen on mobile off mobile this aesthetic is so well done the choice of colors the choice of lighting the choice of this looks hand drawn this looks hand painted i don't even know man this is whoever the artist is they must have a crazy pedigree that i'm unaware of because this is not their first title whoever the artist is has to have a ton under their pedigree now this ain't a lot of heroes is it or fairies now this is early access first of all but also each and every one of these is nine heroes and i'm gonna tell you what i mean by that when we jump into some combat man you also have heroes as a matter of fact, now these are going to be stagnant. You bring them in, you don't place the, you place one down. You can't place copies of them and they level up naturally as they kill things. And then they get different bonuses, different passives, different stuff like that, depending on each one. I'm going to be running in with Nymphaea here. There is a grip of them available to you. You got Bristle, you got Sunflower, you got Gooseberry who looks sick and you start with Freesia here. So we're going to dive in with this girl. Now, like I said, there's that competitive mode, and I do want to tell you a little bit about some of the content going on in this game. You see how many maps there are already? This is early access. There's basically more maps than there are uh, fairies, which actually works for me because it would be a lot to wrap my head around, considering you don't build a team. But here's what the maps look like. Here's what the maps look like right now, man. You are looking at some gorgeous complex, and if you play tower defense games, you already know they're going to play out very, very differently based on their layouts. But we're going to just jump into, what do you say, this one right here? We can go ahead and do a little ruins, man. I don't see a problem with that. It might be a little, it might be a little challenge. I'm cool with a little challenge. So we're going to jump into this. We're going to do easy. And there are four different difficulties, right? There's easy, there's normal, there's hard, and then there's endless once you have completed everything. And you might notice there's different notches. So if we jump over here. There's normal mode. This is just to beat it. And then you have normal only where you can only use your blues. You can't use purple fairies. You have verse path where it reverses the path on you. They're coming from the exit and going to the entrance. You have nonstop where there's no pause between the waves themselves. And you have extra coins where it starts you off with a grip of cash. And then it's like, hey, like you don't get any more money. So spend it wisely. And I hope you memorize what you're going to be seeing because you ain't going to get another chance at this one, man. So we're going to start out and we're going to place our hero down. Now, hear me out. When it comes to this upgrade tree, we're going to start it up, man. We're going to times two it for now, but we're going to have to times one it for a second. Well, let's times one it for a second, so just so we can look at these cute little dudes back here. Look how adorable. Look how adorable, man. The art style is gorgeous. The animations are just slick. But beyond that, let's talk about what these heroes do real quick. So we can we have everyone available that we have. If we have the hero, if we have the fairy, if you will, we have them all available to us. You don't build a deck. They're all here, man. So which ones do we want? Well, whichever ones we can afford to bring out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this girl right here. Can I place her here? That'd be pretty slick. There's not a whole lot of room, man. Let's put her right here. She's very cheap. She's going to AOE people down. I'm very cool with that. So we're going to place her down. She's got this AOE blast around her. Now, on top of that, we have skill trees, right? So we can make her attack faster. Bam, that's in right there. Now, notice if I tell her that I want her to attack harder, it's going to lock this path, and now we have two paths available to us. Pretty slick so far. However, 
if I uh, tier one of these to three, the other one's gonna be locked to two. So I'm only allowed to have two in one and just five in the other, which does lead to nine separate possible builds. And they are all very, very different. I'm gonna show you what they do in a second, but I do gotta get caught up a little bit in my actual, you know, in my actual damage game, man. Cause you know, we're falling a little behind, it's all good. So if we jump over to this, we can hold it down and we can see what it does. Increase damage, slight. Increase attack speed and damage, slight. But those are two cheap upgrades. Replaces her main attack with twisters that damage all creeps behind them. They fall along the path. Greatly shortens the time. Create a composite magic circle that releases three twisters. That's just one path. That's the twister path. Over here, we can inflict extra damage to boss units. We can activate all deployed magic circles at the same time and summon a massive expanding storm affecting a wide area. We can extend the storm and increase the damage. We can hit amber creeps with this one because there is sort of an element advantage in this game, but if they are anti your element, you just can't hit them, which I think is very interesting. On top of that, trigger hurricanes. You know, she's like the queen of storms over here and which storm she's summoning is completely up to you as we go ahead and burst this out. And now we're summoning these twisters and they're just gonna follow along the path and they're gonna link to people. Uh, what do I wanna do for the last one? I wanna make sure she's hitting Amber units, right? Cause she's gonna be my main source of this like consistent, like it's following and tracking people damage. I wanna make sure she's able to hurt the Amber units. So I'm gonna neglect attack speed and go ahead and boost her to the point where she can hit these, uh, she can hit these uh, Amber units, these Amber enemies, these Amber elements. And bam, now I'm locked. I cannot move this to tier three, but I can boost this one all the way to tier five. There's a lot of depth with the characters and they are all completely unique in how they work. This girl, I can get multiple waves to hit out. Over here, I can go ahead and moderately boost my attack speed. I can hit magma creeps. I can heavy waves, which charge faster and inflict more damage to boss units, make her a boss killer. I can wide sweep massive damage to enemies. I can you know, keep people, if, if someone is, is she the one, hold on, hold on, which one does it? Uh, increase, uh, is, auras now have a chance to knock back targets, is it this one right here? One of the, strips cloak status, I'm grabbing that right now because she's right up front. I'm gonna make sure she's able to take anyone that is cloaked, which will not be hit by anyone other than someone that can take out uh, cloak status. I'm gonna make sure she's the one that can take out these invisible units because no one else will. There's a lot of depth behind how it actually plays out. So how do I want to play the rest of these? Well, I can go ahead and summon some auras, have a chance to split in two, have a chance to knock back target. She's right up front. Let's put a little CC on her now. She has a knockback on her skill. I really hope you guys are following because there's a lot of depth to what should be a very simple game. Just aesthetically, right? It looks simple. I think this is going to appeal to casual players, but I think core players are going to become addicted and people that were casual players are going to be core players in a heartbeat. I don't think there's anything, any way around it. And we're destroying right now. It's pretty easy stuff, man. Let's slow it down a little bit to get a good look at these little enemies right here, man. Which path do we want to take with this girl? We can make it so that she does more damage to boss units. That's pretty nice but we can inflict extra damage to elite enemies, which I actually like more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, man. Make sure she's hurting these elite enemies. These are elites right here. Make sure she's nuking them out. Now I'm gonna save a little bit of money, get somebody else out. Cause we have this girl that's just waving in a line. We have all kinds of basic stuff out, right? Well, I mean, not really basic stuff. There's no one basic, which I think is actually pretty sick. This girl right here, I know she's enticing to bring out. She sucks. She sucks for anything other than straight up handling uh, stragglers or if you don't want to go the route of taking out someone that you know, making her take on invisible units. If you want her to be a full damage dealer wave clearer, then you can put this girl down right up front and she can take out those invisible people for you. It's pretty beautiful in that regard, but let's go ahead and put this girl down. She's going to freeze people out, right? She's going to let's put her right here. I think I think right here is the perfect spot for her. She's in range for a lot of mess to go down. Let's make sure she's in the perfect position and go ahead and take a look at what we can do with her. She's going to slow people in the area around her. Let's go ahead and make sure she's hitting multiple people. So we can do the, which way, which one actually has her hit multiple people? Shoots freezing grenades outside of the attack range. Okay, that's pretty crazy. Increase attack range, release a frozen wave, slow down. But oh, they're making it through, man. They are making it through. It is time to put someone drastic out. Hold on, hold on. I think we got it. Okay, that final shot. Did you see the 360 no scope just now? We got to get this girl up here, though. 
is all that means. Let's go ahead and boost this stuff up a little bit. Watch her freeze some units out. It's going to be some gorgeous stuff. They're going to be crowd controlled, but we got more crowd control options in the booth. You can place multiple copies of multiple units down as well. So play it by ear as far as that goes. Uh, let's accelerate times two for the rest of this. You saw how beautiful this art style is. You saw how beautiful these enemies are. Let's blitz through the rest of it. What else is going on in this game while we wait for a oh, There's a little bit of income. We're going to place this scroll down. Um, honestly, right here might be the best place to do it. If I hold on, hold on. How exactly do I want to make this? I kind of screwed myself in positioning. Really? We can put her down as low as possible. There we go. Okay. So this girl right here, I'm going to make a crowd control unit. If I burst her damage all the way up, she can hit multiple targets and stun creeps. Actually, we can make this in a roll creeps in a row let's go ahead and do that man let's roll through creeps in a row okay that's gonna be very that's gonna be a little it's gonna be 960 to be able to do that so while we wait for 960 coins um what else is going on in this game there is a lot of free to play elements especially considering there's no pvp like there's nothing to pay to win because you're not going into matches if all you care about is your leaderboard score rather than just your own play then that's when you start jumping into the monetization if you want to take it on that try hard level you want to get higher in the challenges you want to get higher on the leaderboard rather than just seeing how far you can currently get that's when like it starts to you know you, you'll start to spend a little money but honestly this game is just a premium experience for free it really is there's a lot of just free to play elements in the fact that you don't have to match with people to do anything you don't get put into a ranked mode where you might get stuck in that ranked mode and be very frustrated for a very long time when people start doing more damage than you and having higher skilled units than you. If you're looking for free to play, this is, and I think that's very exciting. Now we're going to go ahead and, uh, should we increase the damage or should we increase the, let's increase the attack speed, get more knockback on these shots and see what we're looking at, man. Look at all those balls rolling by. It looks like Donkey Kong 64. This dude's creeping through. I almost put the safety net down, man. I almost put the safety net down. It would have been pretty funny, but you know what? Let's go ahead and get another uh, another girl out here. Let's get this mushroom girl out, man. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's put her way back here. Let's go ahead and boost her. Let's, uh, this makes them last longer, right? Increase, uh, increase. No, it does not. Which one makes them last longer? Range and duration. Okay, this will, this will make them last longer. Oh, let's just boost a little damage on the mushroom. She's going to put these mushrooms out. She's my bomber girl, man. This girl right here, she can be crowd control for days once she's tier 3 with something. She's very expensive. She's a ramp character. You have to get her to tier 3 in a slot for crowd control. Whether you want just straight up AoE damage by getting her S up to tier 3. Whether you want the knockback in her R, which is usually range, speed, and damage. If you up her range to three, you're going to have the knockback. If you up her damage to three, you're going to have the AoE stun. So play that by year as well, man. There's a lot going for this game, bro. There's a lot going for this game. Let's go ahead and rock out with a little bit more of this. Uh, uh, let's get this to tier three. It's going to be some dirty stuff, man. It's going to be some very dirty stuff. These people are coming through, though, so we can't really sleep on that. You know, let's go ahead and put this girl down. Go ahead and up her damage a little bit, her attack speed, all that. That dude just got through. Are you seeing this? That dude just got through. But luckily, there's no three-star mechanic in this game. You will never have to three-star anything, which I think is pretty slick, man. I think that is pretty slick. You never have that like, oh, I wasn't paying enough attention in that moment, and now I'm screwed feeling. You know what I mean? You ever had that feeling? I know you have if you've played these games. Uh, how do I want to play it as far as the rest of this goes? Because we're almost out of here, man. We're almost out of this little run. Uh, we're gonna let that die out real quick and we're gonna go ahead and grab who do I want to upgrade you right here You can get upgraded. Oh, we can get this uh, passive upgrade. We can go ahead and grab this actually Or do I want this increased range and damage would be pretty nice, but she's not here for damage Let's go ahead and grab this aoe freeze Freezing wave that slows down non boss creeps while well, we're coming up on the boss actually So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade this right here Get that active aoe blast out and now we have an active skill on the bottom outside of our hero's active skill So, you know, we got a lot going for us, man Let's go ahead and boost this girl's damage up a couple of times I really want to get her to the point where she's gonna be boss killing So we're gonna make sure we do that before the boss shows up. There it is She's gonna be putting out these mega mushes and things are gonna be looking pretty man We're gonna go ahead and uh, make sure these things die even if they don't we still have plenty of uh, wiggle room bro 
you know, I'm not paying the most attention. I'm not going to be playing perfect when I barely am looking at what I'm doing. But, you know, it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and grab this. Uh, greatly increased damage to boss units sound pretty freaking nice, man. We're going to go ahead and burst out with the big AoE blast. That's her right there. Big damage comes out on this boss. Big DPS coming out on everybody around us. And this girl's kind of sitting pretty as far as this goes. Uh... How are we looking? It looks like we are on the final wave, right? So let's go ahead and sell someone. Easy money. Let's go ahead and pause it for a second. Who do we want to put down? Who do we want to put down? Uh, hold on. Let me not, let me not unpause it. Um, we need single target damage, right? We need single target damage. We have a couple options we can do as far as that goes. I'm going to go ahead and bring out this girl. Finally, she's very cheap. And I think it's going to work out nicely. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to up her damage all the way. We're going to go ahead and up this a couple of times. And bam, she doesn't even hurt him. That was a waste. That was a big waste. She does. It was element a, a disadvantage. We got to put this girl down now. We got to put this girl down now. Come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do me dirty like this. Up that DPS all the way. And we lose my guy because I didn't pay attention to the element advantage. I lost the game, but that's the game. I think that's still a perfect show off of how it is. I have beaten that by, before, by the way, so don't uh, don't get it twisted. But um, where was that right there? Yeah, but uh, but that's the game. There's a lot going for it within just the amount of difficulties there are, the amount of challenge. There's different challenges in every single difficulty, bro. There's different challenges in the difficulties. Elite only, fixed paths, fixed numbers, tough fight. Okay, this gets a 100% stamp of approval. If you ain't playing this one, maybe you just don't like uh, tower defense games. That's the only thing. If you like tower defense games, I can't imagine. I can't imagine why you wouldn't like this. Like, what's going on, bro? We got fuchsia in the house. I'm cool with it. Get, a, get duckweed in the house. I'm very cool with it. Get a couple more shards, get a wax in the house. We like wax and you know, and summon animation is pretty boring, man. Uh, the summon, I mean, this is, this is, it's pretty, the beams coming down, but as far as like summon animations go, it's tame, but man, the art style really helps it, man. We got our hero upgraded again. Beautiful stuff. What do we got out of this? Another bells, man. And that's that, that's the game. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and click the like button, man. But you know me, only if you really liked it. And if you vibe with me, then subscribe with me. I got you covered on two videos a day on the best hidden gems in the mobile marketplace, hands down. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.